Hallo Uniona, herzlich willkommen zum Heimspieltagsinterview. Vor unserem Heimspiel gegen Bayern 04 Leverkusen bei uns heute zu Gast, Josef Joranovic. Hey Josef, it's nice to have you here. Hi. How is your feeling today? Uh, today uh, I'm a little tired because yesterday was free day and today is first day of training session. But uh, hopefully tomorrow will be fine. Yeah, hopefully too. Um, just to start, five short questions. Okay. Don't think about so long. What is it? The, the first answer you had, you can okay. throw it out, okay? Uh, the hardest or unluckiest game you lose? Uh, Real Madrid. Oh. Okay, feel it. <laughs> um, your style to play in three words? Um, attacking football. Fast and uh, defensive style. Yeah, I think we saw something about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there someone in your team now you never want to play against? Uh, yeah, Geraldo. <laughs> because he's fast. <laughs> uh, your happiest and most impressive game? Uh, oof. Uh, in this club or yeah, in my no, career? In your whole career. Uh, I can say Champions League against Real Madrid, my first Champions League night. So it's the unluckiest and yeah. the baddest uh, losing game and your the best. Um, the best one. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the winter in Berlin or in Glasgow? Oof. Uh, or in Warsaw. Tricky one. <laughs> um, for now, I need to say Glasgow because I was there like 18 months and I'm here like two and a half months. Yeah, but the winter is... All, it's cold it's also. Still there. It's uh, the end of April and it's there, there because it's cold outside, really cold outside. Yeah, it's really cold, but hopefully not now, but we had sun now there. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we will have also. Oh, hopefully on hopefully. Sunday. Yeah, hopefully on Sunday. Ne Saturday, not Sunday. No, Sunday also because it's your free time. Yes. So hopefully both. Yeah, that was the five short question. Now I want to talk about a little bit about your career and after that about your private life. You can say everything and you can say nothing. Okay, if you no back. comment. <laughs> I remember when I interviewed you the first time when you arrived at the airport uh, in Berlin that you only give me like answers like three words and then I told to you you can talk to me a little bit more and you said sorry but I'm professional. Yeah that's true, <laughs> that's true. I think that we need to separate private and uh, business. Yeah of course. Life. Let's talk about your career. You start to play football in your hometown. Yeah, is right? in Dubrava. Yeah, it's a little bit outside of uh, Zagreb, right? Yeah, Dubrava is, um, we like to say, the biggest city in Zagreb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I started there like uh, when I was having five, six years. And um, I was there until uh, 18. And then I moved to Hajduk Split. I was there for five and a half years, was really good five and a half years. And then after that, uh, my first move was in um, Legia Warsaw. Um, there I won first championship. Uh, and then after that, like after one year, I left to Celtic, uh, the famous club. Uh, and there was amazing moments, of course, in the career you have ups and downs, but uh, in 18 months uh, I lost, in the championship I lost only one time. That was really nice to see and uh, to leave it. Uh, I won also championship and one cup. And for now uh, they are winning uh, the league, that's also mine because I played uh, half of year there. Uh, they won one cup. I also played <laughs> and uh, now I'm waiting, uh, they are playing in, on Sunday, I think, against uh, um, Glasgow, another club, oh, you. Rangers, <laughs> uh, they are playing against Rangers uh, in semi-finals of the cup, I wish them luck and uh, after that, after it, 18 months I was 
on my way to here to Berlin and uh, for now uh, what can I say it's really good moments here we are third on the table uh, we are fighting and uh, that's the most important Okay, sorry, no question anymore. You already <laughs> talked to everything. No, that's a joke. Um, you said you go to uh, Hajduk Split. Yeah. So, I don't know, but Zagreb and Hajduk Split, it's, it's the most difficult. Yeah, it's like Union and Hertha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> I, I was not sure if it's the same way, but uh, when you say that this... Yeah. Um, was it difficult for you to go there because you are from Zagreb and... You know, like a kid you just want to play football and I didn't think about that. Uh, I had possibility to go in, on Hajduk, in Hajduk Split, who is uh, one of the biggest club in Croatia. And uh, I didn't wait, I just take the opportunity and, uh, you know, uh, if it's not Hajduk who called me, If I didn't go there, maybe I will not be here. And uh, because of that club, uh, I'm now here. I'm uh, in the national team also. Uh, everything because of that club. And that's it. So we are very thankful for the time uh, at Hajduk Split. Of course. Uh, I was captain there also. Um, that was really something unbelievable for me. Uh, because I was from Zagreb, changing uh, Destiny to uh, Hajduk to split, and was really in the first moment was difficult because you don't have family, you don't have friends, you need to make friends, and um, you can see I'm not shy. I <laughs> I like to talk a lot, and uh, I make some friends, really good friends, uh, and yeah. Uh, I do split, split makes me like second home. You already said that uh, you were the captain of the team. How, what does it mean for you to be a captain and what should a good captain to be? Uh, first, you need to take care of young players. Uh, but you were a young player at this moment. Yeah, right? but in Hajduk Split you had like... Uh, I was captain when I was having... 22, I think, 20, 21, 22. And, uh, Our captain is 36? Yeah, something, 36, <laughs> 37. <laughs> yeah, but he's here 10 years, you yes. know, almost 10 years. And that's unbelievable. He's a legend. And uh, yeah, when I was captain, I also need to speak with everybody, uh, to the president. If, if, if it's good times, when, then you need to speak about... Uh, Uh, salaries and everything, but uh, when it's bad moments also you need to protect the club and um, you need to face the truth and that's it. Uh, how was your first game at the first game of Hajduk Split? Was it, uh, yeah, is it like nervous or is it... Yeah, but positive nervous I can say, uh, you know, unbelievable feeling because you are playing in front of our Our, friend, our friends and fans, and it was home game against Rijeka. We lost 2-1 in the last 10 minutes. Is there something you do after a losing game to push you out of the negative uh, impression? I just, um, I don't know, I don't like to think about uh, that game um, because I know that maybe I made a mistake or somebody else and I just want to, you know, put it out of my head and uh, just think about good times and uh, good atmosphere because I think it's not everything about football. If you have good atmosphere in the, in the team, uh, that can push you even harder. And in a game, when there is a mistake, maybe you pass the ball to your to opponent. Yeah. yeah, right. And it's coming to a goal. So is it... Can you push it out of your head like in 10 seconds and said, okay, no worries, the next uh, is better. And how is this feeling? Uh, I know, I know in, that feeling. Because you are a defender because you are a defender and the, the way to the goal yeah. is quite shorter than if the striker do unfold. 
Yeah, I I I had that feeling um, because I wanted to pass to my goalkeeper, and the striker takes the ball and he scored. Um, immediately, um, you are just progressing everything like what what you was done and what you can do. That you need to forget about that, but you need like maybe five minutes just to forget about that okay. because every other pass is you need to be sure that will go to to the right place to the right person and everything but uh, in these five minutes is everything is like jumpy <laughs> <laughs> um you always told us uh, you go after um Hajduk split to Liga Vasha. yeah um it was your first time out of Croatia yeah how was it to go in another country uh to be honest was um was okay because I had a Serbian player there also, Filip Mladenovic. Um, he is a good friend of mine also. Even now we are speaking. Um, like uh, if he was not there, and I had a lot of friends there, like Doma Antolic, Marko Vesic, there was like maybe two months when I signed, two months more and they, they was going to another club. But these two months, they they make me life in Warsaw easier uh, because they know my language and everything but uh, my first challenge if you want to be honest I'm like in when I was changing from Legia Warsaw to so you take Glasgow yeah really because I didn't learn English in school and, ah, but uh, I know that you learn Eng uh, German in school yeah <laughs> <laughs> for eight years uh, yeah but that was long time ago <laughs> And uh, uh, I didn't learn English in school and I was learning English from Netflix, from <laughs> movies and series. Uh, that's the truth. And, um, you know, when they were speaking to me, I was understanding everything. But when I was trying to speak to them, it was like something silly. But they, they can understand me and uh, that's the most important, you know. The time in, uh, at Ligia. Yeah. It was very impressive for you because you win the championship, you played f uh, Champions League qualification, you played Europa League qualification, and you two. Uh, I'm not sure, but I get the a call cup. for the national team. Yeah, also the yeah. call from the national team, and uh, at the cup, I don't know. It was uh, the best of. Was it? We lost. We lost in yeah. the uh, in the final. Oh, you lost in the final. Yeah. Okay. Pen penalties. Let's put it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it was one of the most impressive seasons of your career at this moment, right? Yeah, at this moment. Yeah, it was really amazing. Um, you know, what can I say? I like to play uh, in front of our fans. In Hajduk split was Torcida, was our fans who was like the craziest <laughs> fans ever. Then I was in Legia Warsaw, also in Poland was the craziest fans ever. Then I was in Celtic, who was also the craziest fans. That was, this is my next question. Yeah, you see, you see. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm here also, like uh, 22, 23,000 people from first minute to the last minute. Also away games, we heard them and we want to you know, play uh, even better just for them. Is it a point for you to go to a club because of the the atmosphere <laughs> in the stadium? The, seems like. Yeah, seems <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a game, maybe in Poland, which one uh, you ever had in your heart? Maybe because of the atmosphere in the stadium or maybe because of the game you made a very very good game or you scored or uh, in Poland was difficult because it was Covid ah yeah of course. yeah and uh, I try to yeah in Poland was Covid and then uh, was like 10% of the people can go on the stands and yeah. was uh, uh, in the in the first six months was difficult but then after there was letting more and more people on the stadiums but um, uh, I can say qualification for the Europa League was really good for the team and for me and uh, we played really good football and uh, of course we get in the Europe group. After one season you go to Celtic Glasgow, 
a very good season for you and for the club. How hard was the goodbye to go to Celtic Glasgow? Um, the hardest was uh, say good goodbye to my uh, good friend Filip Mladenovic uh, because he was all the time with me. He was translating to me in uh, our language, and um, but. You know, uh, that's football. You don't know where your future will be. Even after six months, you can go, and uh, you need to you need to be prepared for that. But in Celtic, uh, was really amazing. Eighteen months, uh, we won almost everything. Uh, we had a really good group of uh, of the players. Also, the staff, uh, coaching staff, was amazing. Uh, the fans that was behind us, even uh, when we lost in the beginning of the season, of um, I can say the lowest team in the in the league. Uh, but after that loss, we just was we was growing up and uh, we won everything, and that was the maybe the best time in uh, my career. I want to ask you uh, about that time, but. You won, you won the uh, championship in Poland and you won the championship in Scotland. Which one was the the impressive one? Um, the better one, maybe? I, it's not the better one, but um, the feeling was my first one, of course. Yeah. Um, I wanted that trophy a long time ago, but uh, in Hajduk Split we didn't have a chance to get it. but. Uh, in Poland, my first season was really amazing and uh, we get the trophy and that was the best feeling in the world. It seems like there are only two clubs in Trajan who can win the cup. Uh, the championship is uh, Zagreb. Dinamo and Zagreb and Hajduk Split. And Hajduk Split. Is there someone else who ever yeah, win uh, uh, championship? In, in last years, um, first HNL, uh, that's the name of uh, Croatian league, uh, it's improved a lot. Uh, even the players who was out of the country, they was going back. Uh, the players who has name in the football also, and uh, now uh, you have like maybe four, four, five teams who can win the championship. Yeah, um, it's like I don't know four or five years ago. I go to Croatia and I look a game from Pula. Yeah, Istra. Yeah, and it seems like. Uh, yeah, it was a stadium like our Regionalliga. It's only one tribune with seats and the rest are standing seats. It's like other, other yeah. but ours, but much more smaller. And uh, we pay for a seat on the um, Hop Tribune, yeah. um, like four euros. And for a beer, two euros. It was so impressive for me. Really. Yeah, why? <laughs> it was cheap. Yeah, because, yeah, because <laughs> where can I go in uh, Germany to a uh, game in the first league for four euros? Yeah, that's it's, true. It's, that's true. Sorry, and two euros for a beer. Unbelievable. Then you, was good. Then you was need good. to visit uh, Croatia even more. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, then uh, the next time we go to, it was like one week later, we go to um, Dynamo Zagreb. They played yeah. for the uh, Champions League qualification. And... Yeah, there's a little bit bigger, but it was also like 20 euros for for a good a good seat yeah. in the stadium, and it was very cool. And what, and can like, you, what can you say about the stadium, Dinamo Zagreb? Yeah, it's cool, but I don't like it uh, the way when it's too much space be uh, between the stands and the, uh, yeah, the, and pitch. the pitch, so it was too... But the atmosphere it was very cool. It was a game against Ferencváros Budapest. Uh, yeah. So it was very good. <laughs> it's only, I don't know, Budapest with a train to uh, Zagreb. It's yeah. like three or four Nothing. hours. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Really amazing. You like the stadium too? Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, I played in uh, Hajduk Split <laughs> and uh, Split Stadium is... Uh, the nicest in uh, Croatia. Okay, next time when I go to Croatia. Uh, yeah, you need I to go, go and to split. To yeah. split. Um, now I have to check 
what I want to ask you. Ah, yeah, you always uh, you already said that you have ups and downs, but when I look at your career, I can't find any ups, ups. Uh, downs, ah. uh, any downs. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. no, but uh, I'm thinking like only in my games. Uh, I have a lot ups and downs. Maybe one game I will be perfect, another game I will be okay. Then uh, some small details what maybe you cannot notice, but I know and uh, that's bothering me. And <laughs> then I need to even progress even uh, better in the next games. But, um, you know, uh, if team are playing good, then also uh, the fullbacks needs to play even better. You win the championship in Poland and uh, uh, in Glasgow. Scotland and you win the cup and you play at the Champions League qualification and everything and you uh, are the third team at the World Cup with Croatian. So is there a goal that you want to reach in the next, I don't know, two or three years? Um, I don't know, in uh, Euros uh, we played good, but we played against Spain. Uh, now we have uh, another chance to make it better. And um, I think that uh, we can, but also now in the summer we are playing Final Four and uh, for the national team. And, um, you know, Uh, it will be perfect if we get some medals also. Okay. And what are your goals for your private life? You see we are going... Yeah, yeah, yeah going bit. down yeah. and down and down. <laughs> um, um, what can I say? Uh, good life, good marriage, uh, happy family. And, uh, you know, uh, if you see my face happy then uh, you know that my marriage is also happy perfect i remember when you were here like three weeks maybe two weeks i talked to rani and i asked him how it is with you and the other new players yeah. and he told me it's like you were here like three years <laughs> not like three weeks <laughs> why was it so easy for you to come here and yeah Maybe because, be of, <laughs> because of Panto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but uh, I'm not shy. Uh, even if I go to, I don't know, Saudi Arabia, I will uh, also try to make some friends. Um, I like to speak. Uh, you can see that. Maybe not now because it's camera here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like to smile also. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think that smile, when you, when you are smiling, Even the people who are sad, they will also smile and, you know, it's happy life, happy days. Today your girlfriend is coming to Berlin. Fiance. And oh, hey. sorry. oh, sorry. You know, sorry, she will sorry. listen that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to be correct. Um, she's studying in Croatian, right? Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. Is there something you maybe had studied when you not be a professional football player? Oof, uh, that's a hard question. Um, <laughs> if you ask my mom, she will say, yes, you need to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we will see what will happen when, uh, when I retired, of course. But, uh, you know, for me, I, for myself, I think that I will play 10 more years. Like, um, It's okay. Yeah, like Trimi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, something like that. And then... The position is the same. So yeah, 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 same position. <laughs> Um, who knows, maybe same club, yeah. uh, we will see everything, but uh, we will see in that moment, I cannot say in the future what will happen. So now the sun is coming. Yes, you see. And <laughs> how is a free day of Josep Joranovic? Free day? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm alone at house, uh, no. house. or my fiance yeah. is here. Uh, Maybe. Okay, both. If I'm alone, uh, if I make some plans with Panto, like uh, go and lunch somewhere or something like that, but if not, then... I had given it. <laughs> I, I had no <laughs> yeah. But if I'm alone, then uh, I will sleep well, uh, wake up, uh, then I will 
maybe make some breakfast, maybe. <laughs> uh, then after I will uh, watch some series. Then I will talk to my friends. Maybe we will play some Fortnite. And <laughs> then like for five hours. <laughs> 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 and then uh, I will go on the dinner and that's it. But if my fiance is here, then uh, she will make a plan. Uh, we will go visit some... Uh, some old old city of uh, Berlin, uh, Berlin Wall or something like that. And uh, yeah, uh, if she tells me that we need to go there, we will go there and that's it, you know. <laughs> Happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how is a free day in your hometown? Oh, uh, to be honest, I don't remember when I was in my hometown on free day. Because was um, <laughs> when I was in uh, Legia, then on the summer was Europe, ah. <laughs> Euros. Then when I was in Glasgow, uh, was qualification for the World Cup. Then on the winter was World Cup, and now I'm here. I didn't have some free days to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's okay for you, or is it? You know, uh, it's hard. it's a privilege to play for your national team uh, because we had like we have three three and a half million people and uh, you are between twenty eight players who will represent your country. Uh, it's you know for me uh, unbelievable achievement and uh, I want to be there as long as possible and uh, I will try to make it even longer but uh, you know uh, everything is on this green pitch how you perform and um, we will see what will happen but um, yeah uh, when will be free uh, we will see maybe when I will I will retire <laughs> okay that's a long time ago yeah um, I have seen that you and your fiance ah, thank you <laughs> uh, like to travel a lot Maybe in, a, in your free times you go to London or yeah. I don't know. Are you a typical tourist or someone, not at London of course, but someone who's uh, on the pool or at the beach? Uh, oof, uh, I will say tourist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we was in Paris um, after the, the game against France there. Uh, we stayed like s five days, I think. We had five days off, and um, oof, uh, each day we was doing like three uh, thirty thousand steps. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can say that I'm tourist. Okay, <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, you said you have to. Um, Enjoy, I enjoy. Yeah, enjoy the sun. But I have one more question. Okay. It's always the last question. Is there something you want to say to the Onyona I didn't ask you? What can I say that? Um, we will fight each game. Uh, we will give everything. Uh, and uh, I hope that they will support us until the end. Perfect. Now... You have to do a picture for our picture wall. I'm yeah. not sure, but it's Nadia's. It's a great wall. <laughs> There. Panto is we're, here. We are missing some. No. Yeah, they lost some on the way. Is that Panto? Ah, Panto. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Oh, and the other Richtung heute macht. Sehr gut.